These were um, the burial plots, the graves of uh, some over 100 years old, of veterans um, and uh, individuals that um, you know may have been, I don't know if you call it a pauper's grave or, or people that didn't have enough money maybe to, uh, to have a more uh, sophisticated burial. Uh, after we got the criminal complaint, uh, our detectives made a site visit. And what we learned right from the beginning is that this part of the cemetery that they were continuing to work in was unlike other cemeteries that most of us had seen. Uh, it was up in the back in the northeast corner of the cemetery, uh, abutted by residential areas that are separated from this by uh, wooden picket fences. And what we found right away was a lot of disturbed dirt, uh, garbage, headstones that were overturned. And as our detectives started to look closer, closer we found uh, bone fragments that were later confirmed to be human remains and pieces of old caskets that date back over 100 years. Some pieces of wood, some pieces of metal hardware that were disturbed. Um, so after the site survey and speaking with some workers at the cemetery, uh, we drafted a search warrant and we served the search warrant on the cemetery and seized a lot of documents, including plot maps and financial documents. And our detectives spent many hours analyzing all of them, trying to reference uh, new grave sites that we had observed with uh, old grave sites that were documented on these plot maps. And what we found is that there was intermingling of, of grave sites. Uh, we were finding grave sites from some soldiers that were close to 100 years, and some, in some cases over 100 years old, uh, mixed in with new burial plots from 2011 on? Yes, sir. 11, 2011, 2012 on. And uh, we spoke with a lot of experts. Uh, we spoke with the Connecticut Cemetery Association. Our detectives spoke with other cemetery operators, uh, spoke with the state medical examiner's office. Uh, we had an archeologist on scene. And then more recently, uh, we utilized uh, ground penetrating radar to get a better picture of exactly what was below the surface. And the conclusion that we came up with is that uh, the cemetery was intentionally disturbing grave sites so that they could replot new graves, either adjacent to or in some cases overlapping existing grave sites. So uh, with that information, uh, Detective Bean and Cintron uh, authored and applied for an arrest warrant and we arrested uh, Dale LaProve this morning, charging her with uh, disturbing cemeteries.